Yo, what's up everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Sebastian and today I will show you how to create an awesome particle dissolve effect for your logo. And trust me, this is as easy as it can get when using the Fusion page. So let's check out what this looks like. So once you get DaVinci Resolve open, let's just open up our media, which is for now our logo. And then go to effects library, click on effect and drag in a fusion composition. You notice that this is by default always five seconds. So you can decrease the time or increase the time. For me, it stays five seconds. All right, now go to the Fusion page. In the Fusion page, we now have our media out. And what I normally do is go to or go right click, arrange tools and hit to grid. So this is all snapping onto those lines. Now drag in our logo. All right, this is where all the magic happens. And I told you this is as easy as it can get in the Fusion page. So we're staying close to five or six nodes, whether we need a transform node or not. I'll show you what that means in a second. But for normal, this is like five nodes, including media in and media out. So this is only three nodes. All right, just highlight media in, hit shift spacebar and search for emitter. All right, and then click image emitter and hit add. From there, we want to add a render node, which is right here. And this is looking good so far. So now let's collect, connect this to media out. Go to media in and hit one on your keyboard and media out is two on your keyboard. So media in is the left viewer and media out is our right viewer. Once this is done, this is pretty simple and this is almost done. Now go to image emitter, go to style and under style you get uh, the style drop down which is point is uh, right now selected but let's change this to blob. And then let's move on to size controls, hit that drop down menu and increase the size and now watch in the second viewer what happens if I increase the size. So this brings back my logo. So let's increase this to 0 0.5 which is fine. And then we can increase the size variance just a little bit. All right, this is fine. But now comes the transform node because my logo is filling up all the screen. So let's just go ahead, go to media in and add a transform node and then just decrease this a little bit, all right? You see your logo is getting smaller and the viewer too. And I like my logo to be this big. So now let's go ahead and go to image emitter again. And go to controls. There you get the density and the lifespan. So what we want to do now is go to lifespan. And because we have a five second clip, this means we get 119 frames to work with. So let's actually make this 119 frames and then just hit enter. Now go ahead to velocity and there you go the velocity and velocity vari variance. So now go ahead and increase velocity just a bit. And also velocity vi variance just a bit because you see if I keep on increasing this becomes a whole just particle mass. But we want to see our logo in the first frame. So let's just go something like 0 0.07 and then let's go to frame 10 because there we see it is already moving but we want to change the angle because by default this is moving from left to right and let's say we want this maybe from the middle of the screen to the top right but also a 3d effect so that it's moving towards the camera towards us to do this, go to angle and just drag this. 
uh, somewhere around 33 so then it gets from the middle to top right and we can make this three-dimensional by hitting angle zx and just go in there and type in minus 90. So what this does is it lets the particle solve move forward, move to the camera. So now go to frame zero and then just play this back. All right, this is just moving straight forward. This is pretty much boring. So now let's go back to frame one again. Go to image emitter, hit shift spacebar again, and then search for turbulence. Uh, where is it? Turbulence. There. And then just hit add. And from there we can go to our inspector again. And there's random seed. So you can mess around with this. I usually go to 350 or 400 whichever looks fine you can actually go ahead go frame 15 or go to frame 10 and let's make this a little bit 0 0.5 and this also 0 0.5 this 0 to 1 and then hit density to let's go around 26 looking fine and now when you go to random seed and drag this you see in the in the second viewer you see how this is changing right so just pick whatever you like best let's just say i go around 400 this is looking pretty fine if i go to frame zero my logo is looking pretty normal pretty good and this is pretty much done what we can do now is smoothen this out a little bit to do this go to spline and then just hit image emitter and then just check this and click on these arrows here to make this full size and then just hit uh, highlight the keyframes then hit s on your keyboard drag this down a little bit and drag this up a little bit right we same we can do with uh, blur over live highlight them hit s Right, bring this down a little bit and bring this up a little bit so now we can go ahead go to turbulence and you can you can navigate here by clicking the middle mouse button or your mouse wheel and just holding the click and then just dragging it over and then go to turbulence hit this and as well you can uncheck uh, you can check the arrows then highlight all of this hit s on your keyboard just drag this down a little bit and this up a little bit right we can close spline now and let's go to the edit page to see what this looks like right this is rendering but you notice i made my fusion composition the particle dissolve effect from frame 1 to frame 119 which is the completely fusion composition so there's not a single time where you see your logo like originally so in order to do that we can just drag this down or drag this forward a little bit in our timeline and go ahead go to video track 2 and drag in your logo there all right and let's say we want to see our logo for exactly one second before the particle dissolve starts all right so i go to one second and just cut this delete this because we don't need that and let's zoom in a little bit more so you see now i'm like straight at 20 uh, 20 frames where my fusion composition begins and my fusion composition is the logo in the background so this is way smaller than my logo my original logo we've got to make this fit and because we earlier said that we don't want our logo this big we actually go ahead to our original logo and just transform this so that it fits like somewhat all right this is not perfectly fitting this is fine but it's doing the job so now go ahead and ease this out just by clicking this 
if you hover over the club, there comes two uh, white corners and just click and drag this in a little bit around three or four frames and then just do the same with the fusion composition just click and drag this in for four frames right this is fine so now go ahead go to the end of your fusion composition like there and go to video and transitions go to cross dissolve and just add a cross dissolve at the end and make this just 0 0.5 seconds just half a second and then go to ease and hit ease out all right so now we are pretty much finished i'll show you what this looks like in full screen in a second just wait for this to be rendered all right it finished rendering so now let's make this full screen and just hit play this is it so there's not a lot of magic going on right now these are just some basic notes that you can customize and get a pretty awesome result and from the end you can you can also make this shorter if this is too long you can make this shorter to your needs and then just transition in whatever clip you want I'll leave a link to this preset in the description down below so if you don't want to create this yourself this is completely fine just go ahead and download it from my google drive and install it into your preset folders i've made a couple of videos back about this topic so if you don't know how to install it go back and watch a few other tutorials where i made free presets so you're good to go and you know how to install it so that's it for this video guys hope you liked it hope you got value out of it if so please consider leaving a like and a subscribe because this would just help a lot it's very much appreciated and yeah that's it i got a lot more tutorials coming up in the future probably every tuesday and every friday so if you don't want to miss out on any of those upcoming contents make sure to subscribe see you in the next one have a great day bye